Mentioned this in hour number one. San Diego State rolled out its new uniforms on their website earlier today and on social media. This is the song that was in the background. We're just a month away, a month from tomorrow. Think about that. Tomorrow's August 5th, correct? September 5th would be a month or somewhere thereabouts. September 5th, first game, 2015 campaign for San Diego State. They take on USD at Qualcomm Stadium. It's going to be at 5 o'clock, so we're right around the corner. Big old press conference out there today. Training camp opening up as well. Let's say hello to the head coach. Of the San Diego State Aztecs, he is Rocky Long joining us on the Mighty 1090. Coach, Darren Smith, good to talk to you. Hi, Darren. How are things? Things are really well. How are things for you? What's it like now this week? You had the big press conference today. We've all had a chance to see the new uniforms, and then you get camp underway. <laughs> well, things are good with me because we're getting ready to start practice, so that's that's what I do, and I look forward to it every year, and it's getting ready to start. I know. You must is you like a kid in a candy store or what? Is it like Christmas Eve? It it is kind of like Christmas Eve, you know, but it, you know you have one of those days where they show up and you have to do all those forms and for the medical stuff and then and showing films on head injuries and and training methods and all that stuff. So you have them here for a whole day and you can't do anything with them. That's really sad. That's tomorrow. Just just like Bear Bryant used to do at the Junction Boys, right? That's what I'd like to do. <laughs> so you would like to drive them out to a place somewhere, probably out in the desert, and just not give them water for three weeks at a time. Well, we'll give them water, but just so we're out there by ourselves and the field doesn't have to have grass on it, just just paint some lines and let's go. Did you ever read that book? I've read the book and I, I've seen the movie. Yeah, well, the book was better than the movie, right? Uh, much better. Both, yeah. I mean, most of the time are. Uh, do you ever tell these kids? Do you ever tell them how good they have it in 2015 and what Bear Bryant used to do to those guys? No, that's a personal preference because <laughs> I used to hate it when I was a player. And coaches would come in and tell us about how it was in the old days, so we don't talk that way. Okay. <laughs> but how good do they have it? Just us talking. <laughs> well, I mean, it's it's a pretty nice deal now, to be honest with you, though. They're bigger, stronger, faster, more talented. The game's faster. Uh, it's probably not meaner, but the, the collisions are bigger. Uh, so the game actually is better now than it was then. Now, as the way we treat them, we treat them so much nicer now than in the old days. All right, we're talking to Rocky Long, getting set fifth season at San Diego State as the head coach. I saw your uniforms today. Uh, again, talk about the change here. You, you know, you've had a front row seat for a lot of changes in college football. What do you think of the new uniforms, and how much say did you have in them? Well, I had no say so at all because I have no style whatsoever. <laughs> I mean, I'm I, I'm barely I barely uh, know what color goes with what color when I get dressed in the morning. I'm not into all the fancy new helmets and all the fancy new uniforms and the fluorescent shoes. So I had nothing to say about it, but our players really like it, and I guess we're getting positive response, so I guess it's a good deal. I liked them. I, I, you know, it's funny because we were talking about that. This was nothing that we were discussing. It seems like Oregon has been at the tip of the spear when it comes to everybody having a conversation about uniforms. But just because it doesn't necessarily appeal to, to you, Rocky, or it doesn't appeal to me, um, how much does it matter, you know, to an 18-year-old kid who's in high school? You know, is that something that they're actually thinking about when you're recruiting them? Uh, you know, it, it's exactly right. I, I mean, I, you'd hate to admit that that's a reason someone might pick a school. But as you say, that, that age group's into all that. They're, they're into the uniforms. They're into the shiny helmets. They're into all the waterfalls in the training room. They're into all that stuff, and it makes a huge difference in recruiting. All right, we're talking to Rocky Long. Rocky, last week, you guys, uh, Mountain West Conference Media Days, you were in Las Vegas. I, I think it, I don't know that it came as a surprise that you guys were picked by the media to finish first in the West Division of the Mountain West Conference. So I'll, I'll, I'll just ask, um, do you like that? Um, when you found out that you guys were picked first, what went through your mind? Well, I think it's fine. I, you know, I, I like it to a point. I, I like the idea that, uh, they think we're going to be good, so that means they might get excited about playing us, but we have a little bit of an edge if the other teams think that we're supposed to win it, and it's kind of nice to be picked that way. It gives you a little respect for what the program has done over the last few years, but then as soon as you play your first game, none of that matters, and we're all smart enough to realize that. you got to go out and win games to finish there. You mentioned something about the edge, you know, which is an interesting topic, at least for me, and something we talked about a little bit yesterday on the show. Is there a difference in now coaching a team that instead of, since you've been here, you guys have been the hunters. You guys have been looking up at other teams, not only in your division, but in your conference. Is there a different mindset to being a hunter versus a hunted? I'm sure there is. I, I think it's totally based on 
whether we're going to prepare the same way or think we've arrived. And I'll promise you, uh, none of the coaches here think we've arrived. We've got a long way to go, and, and there's a lot more things we'd like to do, and we've got to get a lot better than we are right now. And you see if the coaches have that attitude, the players have the same attitude, and I'm pretty confident with our older players. They, they know we're not anywhere close. I mean, we've done some nice things here, but we're not anywhere close to what we'd like to be, and we've got to continue to get better every year. So I don't think it's a problem. It's just nice preseason that someone else thinks you're good. Right, and you've told us in years past when they picked you to finish third or you know whatever the case may be, you, you usually have thumbed your nose at that sort of prediction. Anyway, do you ever use any of it one way or the other, any of the preseason stuff, the media polls? Do you ever use it at all inside of your locker room? Uh, only if you're picked near the bottom. If you're <laughs> picked near the bottom, you you try to use it as incentive, but if you're in the middle on up, I've never used it, no. Who are the players on your team who you expect to be? You just talked a little bit about your upperclassmen. Who are the players on your team who you expect to be extensions of the coaching staff this year? You know, the guys who you're going to look at and say, hey, you know, you got to police something inside of a locker room. Who, who are your veterans going to be for that regard? Well, we base it on our senior class, and I meet with the seniors once the season starts. Starting tomorrow, I meet with the seniors every single day of the week, and they have a lot uh, that they say and we do by the way they want to handle things. I mean, warm-ups before practice, how we dress to go to games. Um, But what you look at is the guys that are veterans that are really good players, like uh, on defense it's J.J. Whitaker um, that – you know, has respect from his teammates, loves to play the game, and believes there are certain ways you get ready to play the game. So a guy like them leads in all kinds of ways. He's a good player, and he has the right attitude. Boy, I'll tell you what. We had him on the show a couple Fridays ago, Rocky. Um, I, you know, we've done our fair share of player interviews, you know, especially at the college level. Talk about a guy who's got a maturity that just stands out. You know, from the years of doing this, and you've been around college players for decades, he really he, – he stood out to me as a guy, you just say, you don't hear that tone, you don't hear that maturity level, speaking about J.J. Whitaker, you don't hear that a lot from a college football player. Yeah, I, I think he's a pretty special guy. Now, the other thing he's got going for him, this is his sixth year because of some injuries he's got to play. So maybe he's older, too. Yeah, 24 years old, right? I mean, yeah. How many 24-year-olds have you coached in your life? <laughs> Not very many. Uh, I played against a bunch of them when we used to play BYU, but I haven't coached many of them. <laughs> We're talking to Rocky Long on San Diego Sports Leader, the Mighty 1090. Rocky, when you look at your schedule here, obviously first game out of the shoot's going to be at home. It's going to be this inner city game here. A little bit of a quirky scheduling thing that we've discussed in the past against USD. But you got at Cal, South Alabama, at Penn State. Um, when you look at a schedule here, do you, is it literally one game at a time for you, or are you looking at it as a whole here, 12 games and, and, and coaching? according to the, how you see the 12 games being laid out? Uh, well, I mean, we kind of put our plans in preseason to the all 12 games. And as we get closer to the first game, we, we inch it down to three games because we, as a staff, we prepare three games out. So we're going to have all the uh, film broken down. We're going to have a preliminary game plan for our third game as, uh, as well as our first and second game. And then when you get to the first game of the year, all you consider is the, that game. And then when you get to Thursday, when all the hay's in the barn, so to speak, then you start working on the next two. So basically we worry about the first three games when we start the season. So do you game plan? Will you game plan against USD? Oh, yeah. Yeah, certainly. I mean, I mean, I don't know how everybody else sees that game, but we have great respect for them, their coaches, what they did last year. They were 9-4, and four, won their league. They've been picked, just like us, they've been picked to win their league, and several guys are preseason all-conference, and – we know they'll be excited about playing. Yeah, we, we game plan. We already have a uh, preliminary game plan for them right now, but that will change when we consider who our best players are. In all the years that you've been doing this, and this is something Kevin O'Connell and I have discussed in the past, and it, you know, it does, I'm not necessarily asking you about USD with Cal the week afterwards, but in all the years that you've been doing this, how common is it for players to look ahead, you know, to, to see a team like at Cal or see Penn State. I mean, how, how do you prevent against that, just generally speaking, as a coach? I think, I think that's very difficult. You count on maturity of your team. So here again, you're back to your seniors. You're counting on your seniors that have already been through that. They already know that if you don't take someone seriously and don't get ready to play them, that bad things happen. And they have to use their experience and their knowledge and their maturity to make sure the rest of them are the same way. And finally – the identity of your team. I know you haven't gotten to camp yet, but what would you like the identity of the 2015 Aztecs to be? 
in the buildup here for the next month before the first game? I think uh, our belief and our dream is that our identity is always the same. When you when you get ready to play us, you, you better strap it on because we're coming to play and we're going to play from start to finish and we're going to be the most aggressive physical football team that you play against. That's what we preach and that's what we'd like to be known of as every year. Uh, I can't wait to see what Pumphrey does for an encore this year. Me either. I hope it's a better one. <laughs> is it possible? Oh, sure it's possible. Now he has to stay healthy and the offensive line has to play well, but – uh, I, I think that he can do as well or better than he did last year. Well, I'm sure a lot of people would like to see that. Hey, Rocky, thank you so much for doing this. Really appreciate it. Press conference today, rolling out the new uniforms. Camp gets underway tomorrow. Uh, first game of the season against USD is coming up on September the 5th at Qualcomm Stadium. It'll be here before you know it. Thank you for taking the time, Rocky. Really appreciate Darren, thank it. thank you. You got it. Rocky Law.